This video is going to show you how to do a tape transfer of any image with a few simple materials. So materials that you need for this, you need some clear duct tape. I like to use this brand right here. It's kind of up to you. I haven't really found any that don't work. You need a scissors. You need a printed image. Anytime you can find an image that has good contrast. So some really light areas and some really dark areas that works best. Um, I've also found this works with sometimes images printed on magazines, but I just use normal printer paper, um, inkjet printer, printer. And the other thing you need is a bucket of water. So to start, I'm going to cut my image out from my paper. I don't want any of the border. If I wanna cut it at a funky edge, I could certainly do that. And then I'm just going to start by applying my clear duct tape, which is sometimes challenging. So as I get my first piece down, the way I like to do this so that there are no air bubbles is I like to, I'm not sure if you can see in the video, but I like to make it into a U shape. And then I'll just go along the edge and I'm gonna push it down in the middle first and then go outward. So then I'm gonna take and flatten this down. And if you noticed, um, my tape went off the edges of all three of the sides. Now I'm gonna continue to add more tape on, but the next time that I add tape, I'm going to slightly overlap it on the piece of tape that I already have. So once I have that down and it is flat, I'm going to peel the tape up. So it comes off in one piece, all right? Now, important before we move on to the next step, I've got my tape overlapping and I have it hanging off of all four of my edges. So my next step, which I've already done, is you're going to submerge this entire thing in a bucket of water. So here I have an ice cream pail with some water in it. I have an image that I've already done this to. Um, looks exactly the same. I've had this submerged for just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna keep the bucket of water off to the side because you may, I may need to add this in the water later. And then I'm gonna go with just my finger and I'm gonna go on the back. And if you can see that, the paper is just sort of coming off. Now it's going to come off really easily in the areas that are supposed to be light. So this was a pretty high contrast image. If you can, um, if you can see that, the areas in my face here that are already light are going to come off a lot easier. The paper is going to cling a little bit to the areas where there are color, or in my case, where there is black ink. Now one tip you want to make sure as you're kind of kind of doing a little area at a time. I don't want to use a sponge or anything abrasive to do this. I want to just use my finger. I might re-wet my finger here. If you rub on this too hard, you're going to find what happens is that your ink is going to start coming up. So there's a fine line. You want to remove as much of the paper as you can, but you don't want the ink to come up. All right, so there you have it. You can see I have made my sticker, my tape transfer. So what happens there is all of the paper gets rubbed off of the back. It's in a pile of paper I have here. Now this um, is a transparent image with my face on it. So once this dries, what I can do is I can, um, if I have enough tape on here, this might stick to a background and then I could trim my edges, but I basically made myself a nice transparent sticker of any image that I want. So I hope that you can use that in your altered books or in your art in some way. Be creative with it, and as usual, have fun.